Sunday. It's story time, story time, excellent. You know what that's from? No. Oh, it's party time, party time, they have an excellent. Wayne's World. Oh my god. Well, it's story. Are you serious? You know what Wayne's World is, though, yeah, right? But okay, never I was gonna it. say, oh my god, get out. We are on our way to breakfast. We are on our way to breakfast. Wow, it's like that thing was broken over there. <laughs> get off the phone. Kids in her car and on the phone. Go on. Must be really important Pokemon over there. It is story time Sunday and we have a doozy. Actually, literally a doozy. It actually ripped Mrs. Sass a new one. What? What are we talking about again? Oh my god. Okay, so the first night we ever oh hung out. Oh my god. We stayed up till like six in the morning, just talking, getting to know one another. Sitting outside Tim Hortons. We actually call it our Tim's now. It's our Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. It was such a good night, and I'm so happy it happened. Cause look at us now. That's right. But uh, here's a little funny tidbit from that story. Um, there's these two people. They're gonna do this. The little <laughs> at the, the bus stop. The pinky swear at the bus stop. They were like. And uh, so I was like, what if the guy's like, it's only this big? And I was like, I love it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. She really did love it anyway. Yep. Rude. <laughs> so, so, we spent that whole night getting to know each other, and I think it was like, was it the next day that this happened? Yes. The day we took our first picture together. Yeah, so we were <laughs> hanging out, I had my niece and Duke with us. By the way, I got a haircut, and I love it. A funny story about her niece, you guys know Janaya. she was yeah. in uh, some of our previous vlogs. Um, she told me Janaya's name, so I was like, Dra! And she's just like looking like, what the, who is that? And then the first thing she says when she comes up to the car, Do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> I still say that to her from time to time. Yep. But anyways. So we just had this great day together. We hung out all day. Um, I drop her off at home. I give her a hug. And we, <laughs> we go <laughs> separate on our merry ways. And I see her do like this really like slow motion fall like it didn't look like anything too serious and she got up right away I was like okay so she's fine because I was like oh my god if you just saw me fall it's so embarrassing <laughs> so like I fell and I hit something and my foot hurt but like it wasn't bad and I was like okay gotta get inside so I stood up right away and I think Janiah no I had Janiah with me my mom took Duke upstairs so yes. But, I, ha I was holding Janai's hand when I fell, but she was fine, but I fell, and I was like, okay, let's go back inside, what were you gonna say? It was such a quick fall, I was like, she would be more embarrassed if I ran back and was like, are you okay? <laughs> so I was trying to do the right thing by not embarrassing her, because she got up so fast, she didn't even realize I saw, right? So I just turned to get yeah, walking. Yeah, yeah, and he acted like he didn't see me fall <laughs> until this year. Yeah, I told him this I year, I, I really saw, saw you fall that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> I'm at home watching Breaking Bad with my mom, and she texts me, so I'm on my way to the hospital, <laughs> and I'm like, what? And like, I thought, like, what could have happened between walking into her apartment <laughs> to like, it was <laughs> bizarre. So I walk into the building, and I start feeling blood pooling up in my flip-flop, and I'm like, oh god, I don't want to look at it, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> So then I start panicking and I'm like, okay. But I'm like, I'm with Janiah, so I have to be calm. So I'm in the elevator and I'm like freaking out on the inside. And she's like, Auntie, are you okay? And I looked out, <coughs> looked down, and there's a pool of blood all You're choking blood up all. just thinking about it. Blood all. <laughs> there's blood all around my foot. And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, Auntie's fine. Just when the elevator door opens, just go run and go get Nanny and just tell her Auntie hurt her foot. I'm like, I'm fine, don't worry, I'm okay. So she's like, okay, so the elevator door opens, she goes tearing, and I start bawling. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so I start getting like kind of lightheaded as I'm walking towards my apartment, as I'm like hobbling to get there. <laughs> and I'm like freaking out inside. So then I get in the apartment and uh I'm bawling, and my mom's like, 
oh my god, get a chair. She's like, I thought Janai said like you just scratched your foot, that it was just like a little scratch. And I'm like, no, like I effed my foot up. <laughs> so then um, I sit down and I'm freaking out. My mom's like, okay, I have to move your toe to see to see the damage, to see what happened. And I'm like, okay, and she pulls it back. And my mom, she's like, oh my god, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I start freaking out. She's like, oh my god, okay, we need to bring you to the hospital. You have to get stitches. You cut your foot really bad. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why would you say that? I'm freaking now. You're such a jerk. Oh my god. So then we get to the hospital, and like, that is the fastest I've ever been in and out of a hospital in my life. Like, the fastest. Like, I got in there, they saw that I was bleeding, they were like, oh. So then I went to this other room, the waiting room. I waited there for like 10 minutes, and then I was in. They were. They put a needle in my foot and I swear I felt like they were putting it right through like the end, the bottom into the top and I was like, ah! <laughs> what an experience, oh my god. I was so embarrassed and like I texted him like, so I'm on my way to the hospital and he's like, what, what happened? And I'm like, I cut my foot. So what it was is, you know like stop sign poles and stuff like that? There was one of those in the ground and they cut it and they didn't take the rest of the pole out of the ground. So Instead it was just of just sitting there. Removing the actual pole like a regular person would do, they thought it'd be cheaper to just cut the pole and that's and what she sliced. It. They didn't cut it straight, they cut it to a point. So she so sliced her foot off. At first, on. I walked down there and I'm like, I think there's like a, a tree stump down there again that is like cut. It's not level with the ground, it's just like a bit higher. So I was like, I think this is what I cut my foot on. But then we inspected the grass farther and saw that that was there. And I was like, that's for sure what I cut my foot on. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so that was bad. But I have a question. Do you guys think I made the right call? Do you think I was doing... Do you think... No, no, no. I think you I made the right call. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Do you think... See how she is? I made the right choice by not embarrassing her because it was such a quick and slow fall that it would have only been worse if I was like, whoa, are you okay, you clumsy fool? But do you think he should have told me, like, at least a month later, oh, you know, I didn't no. see you fall. Not four years later. Okay, okay. If I told her a month later when she was still dragging me along, she would have been like, wow, this guy's so insensitive. He didn't even come help me when I fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly she's realizing, oh, that's right, because I was pulling him along. No, I wasn't. That's a story for another day. Another story time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the video. We are going to wrap it up. We are almost at our usual Sunday breakfast. And there's an angry child back there. There is. I can't really see her. Kind of. Do you guys have a funny story about one of your first experiences together. Do you have a bad date experience? Anything like that, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. Maybe even make a video, because we'd love to watch about it too. Yes, <laughs> do it. Alrighty, we are out of here, because we gotta put food in our bellies. Belly. Belly. Have a great weekend, and be very safe, and have fun. Bye. It's okay. We're happy.